Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Wanted to show you these three different G-Shocks here. These were lent to me by uh, one of my closest friends, Rob, of Random Rob. So I'll put a link in the description. He's got his own channel. He's got an awesome channel. Uh, go ahead and check it out and subscribe to him. But yeah, he lent me these three G-Shocks. I'd never, I'd never used one before. I've never even tried one on. Uh, just the digital concept never appealed to me. So... <laughs> I'm glad that he sent me these three to try out because my opinion on G-Shocks has changed. I now think, and I'll tell you why, I think these make just about the best beater watch that you can buy. And I think anybody who values a good beater should have one of these in your collection. So that's a bold statement. Let me jump into it. So these three versions are all variations of the DW5600 um, model. This one here has the negative display. This has the red accent. This is a kind of a special version. Uh, this one here, this is the solar version. This is the 5610. Um, this is actually the nicest one of the three. You've got a little bit better clarity on that digital readout. And I like the, the solar module that's in this one. This last one here is uh, just the standard one. This is the cheapest one. You can find this for 40 bucks. On, on Amazon. That's crazy. Now, provided that will come with the standard rubber strap like, like this one and this one, and not this um, Combi G-Shock bracelet. This bracelet's actually quite hard to find, so if you see one on Watch You Seek or eBay and you like it, I would snag it up because these are kind of hard to find and they're actually worth more than usually the watch module, which is pretty crazy. So. So yeah, you get quite a bit for your money. You could find each one of these for under $100 on Amazon. This one's 80, this one's 92, and this one is uh, 40. Uh, not on the bracelet again. So you get a whole lot for your money. I mean, if you're like me, you were unfamiliar with G-Shocks, what exactly is the draw? Well, they're incredibly accurate, and you can do quite a lot with these. You have a chronograph feature featuring a 1 100th of a second accuracy. You have a countdown timer. You can get hourly notifications anytime the hour changes. You can set up to five different alarms. You can do quite a bit. Each one of these has an LCD display, and if you press a button, you get a backlight, which lights the display up for one second. So uh, at night, I found that really handy. You know, you just press here and you get a nice light up for a second. So great to use in any situation. They're waterproof. You can shower, you can swim, you can go surfing, you can do just about any water sport other than air diving with these watches. They have a 200 meter water resistant and they're incredibly good when it comes to shock protection and uh, just comfort. These They look bulky and that's one of the things that I thought about G-Shock. I thought they looked big, ugly, bulky and 80s, right? <laughs> that that was my impression. But these are actually really comfortable. They're super lightweight and they conform to your wrist really well. They kind of melt away. You forget that you're wearing them. So so I've been impressed. I've been I've been wearing them for a little while and I've come to the conclusion that I need one in my collection. I need a good beater watch and I think these are the best. What can you buy as an automatic? Well, there's a couple things. You know, you could do Ray 2, you could do SKX, you could do Vostok Amphibia, um, and you can get you know an automatic diver watch that is a uh, that's a great you know great for the price. But for under hundred dollars, I just don't see how you beat this because you can beat these to heck. You can wear them out. <laughs> you don't ever have to worry about dropping them, smashing them, knocking them against a door getting them wet, almost anything, and they're gonna keep perfect time. They're gonna keep a time similar to the atomic clock. So I'm impressed. This one here, this is a special version with the LCD negative display, the red. This has the potential to go up in value. I thought that was kind of crazy when I found out that some G-Shocks become incredibly collectible and people pay a lot of money for certain versions. So I can see this one raising in value in the future. That's pretty cool. This one here is my favorite because it has the uh, solar module. This thing will run 10 months on a full charge. So you just set this by a window, let it fully charge, and you are good to go with this. The other two take batteries. And I'll tell you what, if you have a Phillips screwdriver, 
can see, all you have to do is unscrew four screws, take the case back off, change the battery yourself, save yourself a lot of time and money, and it's kind of fun. So there's a lot to like. What's not to like? Well, mm, I mean, they're not automatic, right? <laughs> uh, people, I don't know. Uh, okay, there. I guess I did think of one. So G-Shocks, they've kind of become a fashion icon with young people. You know, guys like matching their G-Shock to their Nikes, to their, their caps. And uh, if you're, you know, an older guy and you just want to wear a non, no-nonsense watch and you see all these young 20-something millennials walking around with uh, skinny jeans, a man bun, and a G-Shock, that, <laughs> that could be maybe off-putting to you. But um, I think it's cool. I, I, I wear this one when I wa want to watch my Utes play or my 49ers. I think it's kind of fun um, dressing up, matching things. I think they're great watches. I'm gonna buy one. I'm maybe I'll try and steal one from Rob. See if I can purchase one of these from him. I'd probably go with one of these two, because this one's sweet, um, solar powered, but this one is just so cool and uh, has that potential for appreciation. So, so those are my thoughts. I'm I'm impressed. I've been happy to spend some time with these. Big thanks to Rob. Please check out his channel if uh, if you haven't already and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions about this, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.